Let's look at elementary backstroke. Pushing off the wall, rotating onto the back. Starting out with a small finning motion, we actually grow the stroke where the arms and the kick become bigger and more powerful as you gain momentum with the smaller strokes. Notice the head is back, water along the side of the face. Sweep the arms up to about shoulder length, come out and throw the water away from you with your hands. Uses the same kick as you did in breaststroke, the whip kick. The only thing different is you're now on your back, drawing your heels underwater towards your buttocks and then turning the toes out and sweeping the feet together, propelling the water away from you. One way to practice this is to hold the kickboard over the chest and the stomach and the upper thighs and practice kicking. The key thing is to keep the knees and thighs underwater, drawing the heels underneath you deep and then whipping them around back to the extended streamlined position. Here we see a good example underwater of how that is done. Notice that the knees and upper thighs do not come out of the water. Here's the whole stroke together. Starting out with a small finning motion, it gradually gets bigger as we gain momentum. The arms slide under the water, along the side of the body, go out towards the side, grab the water, and throw the water towards our feet. We finish in a streamlined position with the hands to the side gliding. There, the small fin gets gradually bigger, Notice that it, the, the kick finishes and the arms come slightly behind it in terms of timing. So it's kick glide and we make a long body position gliding in the water with our hands to the side. Many people find this easier than breaststroke because you don't have the problem of timing the breath in the rhythm of the stroke. The air is always there as your face is exposed the entire time. <laughs>